have walked up to a little sandwich coffee shop just for something to eat before my dive. Just finished my first dive. It was brilliant. Really, really enjoyed it. Went down to about 11 meters. Just finished the second dive. It was brilliant. And we saw turtles as well. We're now headed back up to the dive shop to go and log our dives. Good morning, everybody. It is horrible o'clock. It's 5.40 a.m. and I'm up dressed and on my way walking to the pier because guess who's got an early morning dive this morning. Well, in fact, I've got two. So I'm going down to the pier and I'm going to meet Will and all the guys. Oh my gosh, am I doing this this time in the morning? <laughs> oh, and I've bought a dive housing as well. It's not an official GoPro one but they didn't sell one on the island and I really want to take my GoPro diving with me. So you can come with me. The island is lovely at this time of the morning with no other bugger around. Maybe I should get up early more often because actually you can walk around here and there's no scorching heat or anything, it's lovely.
not sure I'm completely awake, but I'm on the boat, ready to go. Wow, it was so exciting. I can't believe we got to see a whale shark. Instead of moving on, we decided to stay at the same point to do our second dive and hope to see it again. just going through editing all my footage from my dives on Koh Tao. I can't believe 
we were so lucky. Yeah. Even some of the dive masters have never seen a whale shark that close up. It was a juvenile, so actually everyone told me that it was quite small. It was about three or four meters long, and they were saying that they can go up to about 12. I think I would have freaked if it was 12 meters, but oh, I will never in my life forget that. I am so lucky and I hope that some of the video footage I've really taken you with me because we were all so excited.